port forwarding is basically letting another computer access some computer inside your local area network by accessing it through a specific port. This is called port forwarding and in this video I'll show you how to do it. So in a previous video I showed you how to make a web server. The web server currently hosts a website in the local area network by using this private IP address. To figure out the private IP address of the computer you're trying to port forward, the first thing you have to do on Linux is write IPA in the terminal. Or if you're on Windows you can go to CMD and write ipconfig. Then you want to write down the default gateway. To find the default gateway on Linux, the only thing you have to write is route-n. To find it on Windows, open a new CMD, write ipconfig, scroll down and note down the default gateway. If you now open any web browser, write down the default gateway, you're going to find a website that belongs to your router. In the login, it's sometimes going to ask you for a username and a password or just a password. You can find the password by looking behind your router where there's usually a little sticker where the password for the default gateway appears. There are multiple combinations you can try if you're not sure like admin password, admin, admin, password, password and so on. Now the web server which I created in the last video is currently on this private IP address and requires port 80 to function. That means that we want all requests on port 80 to go to the computer which has the web server. To port forward on my router you have to go to the advanced tab NAT forwarding and then virtual servers. There are two types of port forwarding. There are virtual servers and port forwarding. The only difference between the two is that virtual servers only allow one port to be opened, while port forwarding allows a range of ports to be opened, for example 82443 or something like that. My router only has the virtual servers option available, but you can do this with port forward tab anyways. So for the server's name, it doesn't really matter, but since the web server I'm running is an Nginx web server, I'll just call it Nginx. The external port we want to be 80, since web servers function by using the port 80. The internal port should also be port 80. The internal IP should be the private IPv4 where the server is located, which in this case is 192.168.1.100. And for the protocol, we want to use TCP. Now, the only difference if you do have the port 4 tab is that you can have the port range set to 80, 80, instead of just having one port 80. It doesn't really do any difference at all, it's just so you know how to do it. You can find out what your public IP address is by going to your web browser and writing what is my IP. Now, if you take your phone and you try to search for the public IP address on any web browser, you should be able to see the website that's on the web server just fine. But if you can't actually see the website, you probably have a firewall issue. I'm going to assume that you only have firewall issues on Windows, and to fix this, you go to Windows Firewall, Advanced Options, and you create a new inbound rule. And you create a new inbound rule by going to inbound rules and add new. In here you want to write port, next, you want to write TCP, specified local ports 80, next allow the connection and tick all of the boxes. Then you can just give it a name and a description, it doesn't really matter and just click finish. And if it's still not working after all of that, try disabling your antivirus since the antivirus usually always has a firewall built in. And that's how you port forward. My name is Kian, thank you for watching. Top of